Yeah, it was popping, y'all. This your boy Snow representing Corpse Can't Laugh. And uh, I'm basically making a video on the strength of Battlefield 3 is now out. And guess what we got? A teaser for the next Medal of Honor. And to be honest with you, I'm happy for that. Um, I love Medal of Honor with all my heart, the series as a whole. And, you know, it did go away. I was very happy, you know, with this game story you know wasn't as great as it could be and that's because you know the other guys have been taking a good job of this genre when it comes to story um the multiplayer i feel was on point um i think people just didn't want to give it a, a, a fair share you know the fact that the community is pretty much you can run into the same players without having to add them you get what i'm saying um it had its issues like any game when it first came out and I feel like a lot of the, the the machinima commentators and even just regular people they didn't give this game a lot of love and I think that came down to the marketing aspect of you know this game was coming to do business and and you know shut everybody else up with that said you know black ops which happens to be the highest selling game of that season um, came out a week or weeks or months after this and that definitely shut down you know this game for the most people and um, you know what I saw in this game was was like the in-between of Battlefield and the Call of Duty and I hate to even mention those two games in here uh, I can't not mention Battlefield because DICE is the one in this engine and I cannot mention I, I cannot you know disregard Call of Duty in the same light because at the end of the day this is uh, in that same range of games I don't think Battlefield and, and Call of Duty are in the same league but I do think in the same subgenre of military shooters that this is in the same league um, as far as you know subsets go close quarters nice warfare this game had it, it, it had good and it also at the same time wasn't as arcade-ish as with the Call of Duty is um, as fun as that game is um, you know I have all three of them I play all three of them even since each one of them came out from the beginning so don't you know jump on the message board and be like oh you know in the comment section like oh use a hater blah 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 no I buy them all I play them all they're all great in their own way and I think this was a great step back in Metal Honor it just came at it, it came the marketing behind it came at, 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 a, at a disadvantage um with that said Metal Honor was so fucking dope with the sound as well um DICE did a real fantastic job with the sound in this game and there's a lot of things in here that um peeped that crept into Battlefield 3 you know, even in the beta, now that the game is out, but even in the beta, you could tell that this was like a prerequisite. You know, they, they, they try some things out in this in this game that actually work very well. You know, people will complain about guns and, you know, team balance and all that stuff. But I think we got a preview of battle Battlefield in this game more than in, than any other things. You know, Bad Company, um, you know, 2 also gave us a good preview of what was to come and I was quite satisfied with with both games and uh, you know I, and I'm enjoying the new battlefield with that said you know Metal Honor this, this next one hopefully DICE is on the back end of that and if not Danger Close is still running forefront you know I believe that they will be able to piggyback off of this groundwork this layout and, and make it a, a more fantastic game than the first one you know I think that games companies should compete with the last one and not with anyone else um, and don't ignore the community and the fans the community of the game and the fans of first person shooters um, so that way you could just you just keep in mind of what's going on and don't sacrifice the focus of what it is that you're trying to do and like I said, I've been playing these games for a while. I've always felt like Call of Duty was the arcade. I've always felt like Medal of Honor is that cross game between the arcade and the and the more strategic 
And I always felt like, you know, Battlefield was just that real tactical, strategic gameplay. And all of them are fun. I just happen to be a person that can enjoy all of them. You know, I honestly enjoy all of them. There's, I have a mood that I want I get in and, and each time I get into a specific mood I know what game to play and it's all fun you know the, the, the more that we understand that all these games are unique in their own way and appreciate them as art too you know I think we can save some some companies and 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 actually enjoy shit a little better you know stop with all uh, the, the trolling of games so to speak and and stop with all uh, I guess the new popular word now is you know fanboy it's a commercial word now you know stop with all the fanboyism and just enjoy or just stick to what you play and, and stay off the other stuff but I hope you enjoyed this 11 and 3 game I really just wanted to say that I'm excited for the new battlefield and that's out and I'm excited to know that there is another Medal of Honor game coming out so hope you enjoyed subscribe snow out